friends, I'm so happy to see you for story time today. I think that some of you are really going to like this book today. It is a book that's all about frogs. And in this book, there's real pictures of frogs. I think you guys will like it. So the title of our book is National Geographic Kids Frogs. And the author is Elizabeth Carney. Before I read the book, let's get our bodies ready. Everybody put your hands up and we will sing, open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, 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 open, shut them, open, shut them, place them on your lap, lap, lap. Nice job, boys and girls. You are all looking ready for our book, Frogs. Here's our title page, Frogs. And you'll notice there's a picture of a frog. This says, splash, splish, splash. What's that sound? What is hopping and jumping around? What loves to eat bugs? Do you know? It's a frog! Can you hop like a frog? Have you ever tried to hop like a frog? It's really fun to do. Frogs live all over the world, except Antarctica. We learned a little bit about Antarctica. Why don't you think frogs would want to live there? It's very, very, very cold there. And there's lots and lots of ice. Frogs usually live in wet places. They like rivers, lakes, and ponds. And here's a picture of a frog right here. There it is. It's in a marsh. But some frogs live in trees. This guy right here, he's in a tree. Some even live in the desert. Frogs can be found all over the world. Wherever they live, that's their habitat. A habitat is the place where they live. It's, it's kind of like their home, their habitat. It has all the things that they need to live. Croak. <gasps> Look at this frog croaking. Some frog's throats. This is his throat. This is our throat. This is his throat. Puff up when they make sounds. Each type of frog makes its own town. This frog right here is a lake frog. This frog right here is a Coqui frog. The coqui frog is named after the sound it makes, like coqui. This frog is the size of a quarter. <gasps> Even small frogs make loud noises. A quarter is a coin, so this frog looks big in the picture because they got very, very close when they took the picture. But a quarter is only about this big. Wow! That's a small frog but he still makes a big noise. Frogs make different sounds for different reasons. Sometimes it's to warn other frogs of danger. Sometimes it's to call other nearby frogs. This frog right here is a dancing frog. I've never heard of a dancing frog, but this is a picture of what it looks like. This frog lives around noisy waterfalls. Other frogs would not be able to hear its calls. So it dances instead. It sticks out one leg and then the other. Do you think you could dance like a dancing frog? You'd have to put your hands on the floor and then kick out one leg and then bring it back in and then kick out the other leg and then bring it back in. And if you can do that, you can move just like the dancing frog. 
That's pretty fun. Oh, this page is about frog food. What is a frog's favorite food? Usually, it's insects. Frogs eat dragonflies and crickets and other bugs. This frog right here, he's eating a dragonfly. That's how he grows and gets bigger, by eating the food. All animals need to eat. Some frogs eat bigger animals like worms and mice. The American bullfrog even eats other frogs. Wow. Look at this frog's tongue. Do you see how long it is? Wowie. What's that pink flash? It's how a frog catches bugs. It shoots out its long sticky tongue at a passing bug. So it goes <sniffs> The frog pulls the bug into its mouth. If your tongue were as long as a frog's, you would be able to reach down to your belly button. Wow, that would be a really long tongue. That means if you stuck out your tongue, it would reach all the way down to your belly button. That would be so long. Do people have tongues as long as a frog's tongue? Nope, our tongues are not as long as a frog's tongue. Do we need to stick out our tongue to catch our food? No, we don't have to stick out our tongue to catch food. Our food is usually on a plate and we either use our forks and spoons to eat our food or we use our hands to pick up the food and put it in our mouths. Ooh, every size and color. Frogs can be many different sizes. You see this little one? This frog is actually sitting on someone's finger. It's called a micro frog. The smallest frog is as big as a fingernail. The largest is as big as a rabbit. Wow, could you imagine seeing a frog as big as a rabbit? It must be huge. This frog right here, this big one, as big as a rabbit is called a Goliath frog. Wow. Frogs can be different colors too. Some are green and brown. Others have stripes or spots. This one has spots. Frogs can be red, yellow, or orange. They can even be bright blue. Wow, did you know there were so many different types of frogs? That's amazing. Watch out. These colorful frogs might look very pretty. But watch out. These frogs have poison in their skin. Their bright colors warn enemies not to eat them. Right? So they have poison in their skin. Poison is something that could hurt other living things or could make them get really sick and not live anymore. So it warns them not to eat them because they have poison in their skin. This little frog is only an inch long. That's this big. So small, so tiny. Its name is Terribilis which means the terrible one. <clears throat> How did it get its name? Oh, by being the most deadly frog of all. One terribilis has enough poison to kill 20,000 mice. Wowee! That would be terrible. Oh, and then now this page talks about frog babies. All frogs, even the terribilis, have mothers. Mother frogs lay eggs. Here's some of the eggs. When the eggs are ready, out pop tadpoles. Tadpoles are baby frogs. You can see the tadpole. Tadpole, but they don't look like frogs yet. Tadpoles have tails. They live only in water. So here's 
the little eggs that the mummy frog laid. When they pop out, it's a little tadpole. This tadpole's a little bit grown up because I noticed that it's starting to have some legs on it. When they're first born, they don't have any legs, just a head and a tail. Tadpoles grow up to be frogs. At first, they breathe underwater with gills. They grow lungs for breathing air. They grow legs for hopping and swimming. And then in three months, they lose all of their tails. Okay, so we'll see our tadpoles right here. Notice how this is, this is like the baby frog. It's a tadpole. There's no legs yet, no legs. As it gets bigger, then the legs grow. First the front legs and then the back legs. And then after three months, the tail goes away and it looks like a frog. It's interesting. Do you know what that's called? When an animal changes the way that it looks and it starts out as looking like one thing and then changes into something else, it's a really fancy word. Are you ready to learn it? Okay. It's called metamorphosis. Whoa, that's a big word. Let's clap it out. Ready? Metamorphosis. Wow. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. It has five beats. Wow, that is a big word. That's what happens when an animal starts out as one thing and then grows up and changes the way that it looks into something new. And a frog goes through metamorphosis. We will talk about that a little bit more during our circle time. This page says toads are frogs too. What's the difference between toads and frogs? So this one is the frog. This one is the toad. So frogs are moist and smooth. That means they're a little bit wet and their bodies are smooth. They have teeth in the upper jaw. So they have teeth up top, up top. They have long, powerful jumping legs. Most frogs have webbed feet in the back. And they lay eggs in clusters or groups. So when they lay their eggs, they're all together in a group. Okay? This one's the toad. Toads have no teeth. Okay? Their eyes do not bulge out from their body. Toads are dry and bumpy and eggs laid in long chains, okay? But a few toads give birth to other live um, young toads. So when the toad hat lays their eggs, they make it in a row, a straight row. Frogs, they're in groups all together. And they have short legs for walking, okay? And the frogs have long, powerful legs so that they're able to jump and hop. Toads are a type of frog. Frogs spend, spend most of their lives around water. Toads spend more time on dry land. Their bodies are built for where they live. That would be their habitat. Let me see. The end. And then it just shows us some more pictures and it talks about some of the words that we learned in the book. That was a really good one. I hope that you guys found this book frogs to be interesting and it taught us a little bit about frogs yeah all right friends well right now it's time to say goodbye so i want everyone to put up their hand their waving hand and we will sing goodbye friends goodbye friends goodbye friends it's time to say goodbye bye boys and girls <laughs>